what is good this your girl misplaced here and i'm back finally doing another video after like last year i said i have a me consistent well that didn't happen but it is what it is but i am posting a video here it's a little late but better late than never as i say it um in the background you see me playing some modern warfare 3 zombies yes you heard me right zombies and I have played this for some months now. I haven't touched it in a little bit, but uh, that's neither here or there. And I wanted to bring you some of what, like, the pros and cons. Like, the stuff I like and the stuff that's, like, a con. But it's not the end-all, be-all. No, no, no. In this game, when it comes to zombies. But some things that I like, didn't like, you know. And also, I mean, just want to put my thoughts about there, about the game. So... I will say in the description, if you have your thoughts, like, tell me what you like or dislike about the game. But please be respectful because people do work hard on these games. Yes, you know, we already know, you know, Activision has this, you know, high moments and questionable moments. But I'm here to just tell you about my experiences with Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I will say overall, I do enjoy the zombies. That was the main reason I got Modern Warfare 3 was for the zombies because they brought it back and it looked more appealing than any of the previous ones. So let's get started with what I liked, like the pros of it is that I like that you can leave the game early. Yes, there's no pause button, but you can leave the game early. Like, you can spawn in, and if you had to go within a few minutes, you can go to one of the, uh, let's see, I guess, um, safe areas. It's not technically safe, but where they bring the helicopter to you, you can go to that area and actually, um, you know, if you survive a little bit, you can do it alone or do it with... The, like your teammates and be like hey i'm about to go can y'all help me leave whatever and you can leave though each round is about 45 minutes ish gives or takes but at least it gives you that option because if you know if you played the og zombies you know you were just playing round after round after round no pausing you can leave until you died or y'all all decide to die or if you get DC'd and kicked out. And in that case, the main goal was to just get the highest level as possible. You know, for the ones that literally were try hard to see how many rounds they can go. was the highest they could go. That was a thing back in the time. So, I do like this option that you can leave earlier than the 45 minutes prescribed. Now, I also like, because it... It do have the zombie feels. I mean, yes, there are some little nuances with it. Like, if you're making noise, zombies will start to pop up. And sometimes they will whack you in the back because if you don't hear them. So, but it gives that old, you know, zombies feel. You still can kill them. And the way, but the way they got it set up, it's like level one is the easiest. There's three, well, there's technically four, but there's three areas. And if... Like, I will have the map open later on in the video, but you'll see the colors. There's this plain area, which is, like, the safest and easiest area to hang out in. And then there's the orange, and then there's the red, meaning that is the real dangerous. You want to make sure you have your stuff together, but if you want the good stuff, it's kind of there. So, I do like that part about it, because, you know, normally it was, like, every wave got harder, and I think it probably plateaued after... A certain level back in the old school zombies but this one has different like um areas and don't get me wrong you can still kind of down in this one <laughs> it happens not so much but it's just because if you don't have all your equipment and all the things you need it's a little annoying so you have to grab your equipment to get that so i do like the zombie feel of it, it does and it's with a twist because it is on the modern warfare 3 warzone map so that is a twist with it I also like that it has the fact that you can play mission, like you can follow the story, which I wish they would have explained it a tad bit more in the intro. You'll have to run into a couple of people that tell you more about the story. And also there's videos because the zombie's been out for like forever. So there are um, ticks and tips and trick videos of other people's i wouldn't know the links to them you just probably google you know modern warfare 3 zombies and whatever you're looking for and if you get stuck on certain parts of the mission 
people have done and find it. Cause I've even had to use, you know, I literally had to look up one mission to figure out what in the world it was talking about and how do I find these areas. So I do like that it has a mission story mode. I'm not done with the mission, so don't spoil it for me. I'm still working through them. But for the ones that got done with the mission, a hey, kudos to you. And there should be one coming out soon, like a, a extend, you know, extension of the story. So I know a lot of people that are looking forward to seeing what's the next part of the story will be doing that and getting it done ASAP. Except for, you know, there are ones and then twosies that get the privilege to do it prior before. And that's neither here nor there. But I do like that it has that zombie feel, but that war zone feel. It's supposed to help you learn the map. I mean, I really didn't really learn the map still. I, but it did help me get better-ish with using my, uh, my, like, Realizing that the fall damage is fall damage, you know, so <laughs> let me put it like that. Putting the fall damage is like fall damage. So certain things that you do in Warzone has helped me in that. Though, like I said, I'm still newbie to it, but I do enjoy the feel of it. And I want to finish the story mode, which I will eventually. Now, I also like the option you can leave and join squads because there's more than one team that's on a map cycle. So, you can get, I've gotten up to like five people in a squad, but that was just randomly. <laughs> and normally, when people squad up around that time, they're in level three area and about to do some part of the mission that's kind of harder or something. Easter egg or something. It's something. But you can join and leave squad. So, if you're not clicking with your squad, you can leave. And if you're looking for somebody, you can join somebody else's squad and people can invite you and vice versa. The how to join the squads is a little eh, annoying, but once you learn it, it's not too bad. So I do like that you can leave and join squads. And I do like that, don't get me wrong, there are still some people that are toxic. But for the most part, if you really need help up in zombies, just talk. Like literally... If you don't understand it, if you're new to it, say something because we all don't read them like each other's mind. And but be respectful, people. I'm not saying you gotta um, kneel at people's feet or bow at their feet for answers or anything. No, I'm just saying if you're going to do something or if you need something done, say something because a lot of people don't get like understand what you're trying to do or sometimes they don't even look at the missions so there are people that will help you and give you tips and tricks on where to find the best place to go for what you're trying to do so i do like that like people will help you and i mean i only ran into a couple of one or two toxic ones but other than that for the most part i either do my own thing or our squad is kind of synced up. And I do go in a lot of games alone. So this is a plus for it. Um, and you can ask for help on here. So if you die and you need help. If somebody's around. Don't wait too late though. Because once it gets time run out. And if you wait too long. You may not get saved. I'm just saying. <laughs> so make sure you're prepared if you don't know what you need ask around i will say look at videos ask people like ask something i do like also that they do have they you know they did bring the ray gun back so it gave that ray gun feel uh but i don't use really the ray gun that much surprise i use pretty much one standard gun I've gotten comfortable with as the one you've seen here. I've been using that the most out of all the guns. Uh, I do like the throwing knife. That's really good. The, the either knife. Every now and then I run into people that have extra ones. So them things are really good in level 3. Once I figure out how to get them things, we're going to be good. But I do like throwing knife for that because it do shred through zombies. <laughs> the mega bossing no not so much but the zombies yes now a few cons and i'm they're not look before y'all sit there and be like down my throat it's like he's not that bad or you might be writing these cons are not bad 
things is just an adjustment. So there are some cons. One of them is like I, I really didn't. I didn't, I didn't really care for the 45 minute thing because if you just get started, you just getting your money. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, and by the time you know it, you only have a certain amount of minutes to do what you need to do. So the time running out, having that time level is a little annoying. It's not the end all be all. It's not a bad thing because if people got something to do and they only got an hour to play, then hey, that's like the perfect thing to actually have like i like that is you know an hour at a time and stuff so you can get up and jump back in again but i do like it is annoying that uh the that the actual time is 45 minutes but it's not the end i'll be on like i said it's not it's not at all now i did say i would have liked better instruction but Hopefully, you know, I wish I wish somebody would took more consideration on that part of it because you want people to know how to play. Like, yes, most of us have played zombies, but you every year you're always getting somebody new into the game field of it or the zombie field of it. And if they ain't played all the old school zombies and stuff, then sometimes it can be a little daunting. So I would have liked a little better instructions. I mean, we have a habit of clicking through and just be like, let's play. So I would have liked a little video. I would have rather deal with a video instead of a click big thing that I didn't even really pay attention to. Now, another thing they could kind of fix is the saving people part. When I mean like, if somebody go down and ask for help, if you get close, you can kind of see where they at. Like if somebody's down and you're close enough, you can see where to save them. But if you're far away and they're asking for help, unless they put in chat that they're at like somewhat about like a i'm at b6 or something like that then you kind of don't notice and it's kind of hard i wish there was a better outline like if somebody having an sos like there's an sos signal or something so we can see it on the map it don't have to be an annoying ping or something but like if a player is down dead and they're asking for help, like a better SOS thing. I don't know if anybody thought about that or not, but that's the only thing I would like. Because sometimes I do be want to save people. <laughs> and unless I got a chance to read the chat quick enough to be like, okay, they're here. And if I can get them, I will try. But I would rather there be a better SOS. So, Or if you're near, a better way to see them. It shouldn't take us so long to like actually see that they're visible like i would like that 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 would be a big help i do hope they change that or work into fixing that or adjusting that also another thing i mean i don't know if it still happens as much but when people disconnect and it don't be on purpose losing everything i last time i kind of checked they was like working on something like that but if you disconnect and not die, there's a difference if you die. If you die, you kind of lose everything unless you have a tombstone. But if you disconnect it and it was not a fault of your own, it sucked because you, you lost everything. So my tip for that is to have a secondary character or, you know, if you got people that you can go in with that have extra spare stuff that they don't mind giving you, well, certain things they can give you, they can give you everything then definitely get that all right but i hope they fix that or some way to nick that because it was a little like it's heartbreaking when you work so hard to get your character up you get everything you need and you lose it all off of a disconnect not even off of death but a disconnect so i really do hope they work into that and they fix that sometime soon also, my final thing that I was a little disappointed on, I mean, I, I'm going to say I don't know if it was a, um, a issue with rights or something of the sorts, but they brought the ray gun, but where's my thunder gun? Like, I wanted my thunder gun back. Yes, all you had to tweak it to where it wasn't OP, but it would be nice to, like, douche, douche zombies i'm just saying so i hope they decide to eventually like it could be an add-on come later that they bring the thunder gun or they work with trade art bring the thunder gun or whoever they need to work with to bring the thunder gun because i was highly disappointed that that wasn't in here being that this is still a zombie game 
because that was like the highlight of guns to have. So I do hope that they think about bringing it out. But I do like the concept of this, and I do hope they kind of use it for whatever next Call of Duty or if they have go from this zombie map to the next zombie map, kind of like how they do the Warzone thing, Warzone map, then another Warzone map. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and you see me kind of trying to figure out how to get over there and slowly learn that I need to jump off the, off the thing, okay? But I do hope they keep this style up going because I, I do like it. It's an adjustment. Like, it's not no false button. It's not, like, rounds. But I do hope they keep adding to it because it is interesting. You know, you're going to have people beat it quickly and all that. I'm not one of them quickly ones. But overall, I really enjoyed the zombie. It was the main reason why I bought the zombies. So, I do hope they keep in the ideal or the just amount of what they have to do. And, hey, I told y'all coming out with a video. So, I did a video. Hope y'all appreciate that, hearing my awesome voice. And I'm going to try to make some more videos. Can't guarantee. I'm not going to guarantee this year how many I will create. But I will try just on my thoughts and opinions and all of that. So far, it's on situation and things just depending on the situation. Look at me just struggling to get up this. this <laughs> getting up on that. That's what I get for playing three, four different types of games. But you all take care. Till next time, I'm out. And I hope y'all enjoy whatever left of the gameplay to let me play. And I'm out. Laters. There's some people in there too. If we want to go over. Where? Over in three. There's some folks over there, so that'll help us. Nah, we need to go look for the exit for it. Because we have car. Like, mad car. Sorry about that. That's okay. Oh no. Oh. What are we doing? We gotta move. I'm following. Following. Yeah, I do. Oh, I do. Hang on. He bought it. He got it. Oh. Oh. Run. Oh, I had to run? Oh. <laughs> that was. Yeah, okay. That was... Oh, crap. Red. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. 
I'm gonna kill the monkey bomb. I can self revive, don't mind me. I can self revive. I just want to say, what are we doing? This is not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I kind of want to swim the way this is going. I might have a fighting chance if I swim. What is this? What? Just keep swimming. That helps a whole lot. Why are they so evil in three? <laughs> oh man, that was sweet. Yeah, I forgot I had them little decoy nades. Changing max. Okay, so where's the X wheel? Cause we got go. Oh yeah, we gotta go. We can't even go that way. Yeah. Zone. Oh crap! Is it's closing on us. Yeah, that's what I said. We gotta go. Oh, well this way. Go. We gotta go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forget that. Run. There's a boat down there. Hey, so as soon as that storm hits, they're gonna turn to level two zombies. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But I'll call it in. I have a perk. Well, I have the the mine. Yeah. So like, it's gonna attract them to me. Oh no. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it's good for y'all, cause then y'all like y'all are free, you know. Y'all can help me pick <laughs> some off though. You? <laughs> now nah, I'm chilling. It. <laughs> you guys just need to make it here. That's all. You guys just need to make it here. Yeah, we're making it. We're making it. But it's a level one zone. Okay. So we're chilling. It's trying to turn hectic right now, though. Yeah. Oh, How far okay. are you out? Uh, we're, we're 200 meters. Right, let me know when y'all get a little closer, I call it in. Just give y'all time. What you consider a little closer? I'll call it in right now. I should have time. Yeah. Alright, bet, bet, bet. We're right here. We see you. Alright, they're all on me now. Oh yeah, they going on you like you had breakfast in bed delivered to them. Oh, there's an instant kill. Yeah, get that, get that. I'm, I'm going to. Got it. Okay, I'm getting on here. Yeah, get on. I'm getting on. We got something. Good stuff, guys. <laughs> GG. <laughs> that was stressful. <laughs> Look at that, we're the last expo on this side too. Oh wow. <laughs> we good were, game, we guys. We were calling us good game. <laughs> it's fine.